Ah, a nice, clean, organic bed. An incredible place to lay your head at night. Nothing like the breathability of organics to create a safe sleep sanctuary. You would never guess this is composed of several modular pieces put into one solid bed unit. This is a queen size bed and we make it simple. I'm going to show you how we make the bed. All right, we start with the frame and one side of the futon. This is a one half queen futon right here. And um, you, can, you, you can actually, you know, build a floor bed the same way or you can use an existing frame that you already have. But you just want to make sure that the slats are um, not more than one inch apart because uh, it creates, uh, we need a lot of support for this futon. Um, most futons are m thicker than this and um, th it creates a different effect and uh, this futon requires that the slats aren't very far apart because what you want the frame to give some of the support for the futon. And so we start with one half queen, we put that on one side and then we'll get the other half and we will put it beside the first one and slide them together and then we the next step is to take the two straps that come with your futon set queen sized futon and uh, you just strap these together to hold the two futons together and about one third of the way down and you you slide the clip part like kind of underneath the edge a little bit so it's out of your way and about this the strap is about one third of the way down from one end is ideal and you can move it after you've clipped it on a little bit and we'll put the other one on it goes over here and Through here goes underneath, comes around to the other side underneath, and clips together about one quarter to one third of the way from the end is a good amount. And slide the clip under a little bit, it's out of the way. Okay, so now you have your Two futons are, are forming a, a unit together, starting to become more of a solid unit. So this, so they don't slide apart when, when you have this strap here. And now some people like, they wonder, well, you know, this crack is, that's going to be a problem, right? There's going to be a crack in the middle, so it's not a real bed. Well, that's not true. Once we get done with this process, this crack will be imperceptible. And so first we, this is just the first step with the straps. Then the next step is you need some kind of a pad. And the most minimal pad would be like a, you know, a thin blanket. Like this is a organic cotton blanket. So the most minimal pad would be, would be this. And now you do need to have something. You can't just put the sheet on right over that or you will notice the crack. You, you need to have something down that covers the entire bed. And that, that's what makes the crack go away. So we will put this blanket down. And so this is what it would be like with the most minimal. This has another uh, advantage too because when you have a washable um, pad underneath the sheet, you, you're actually protecting your futon. So your futon will last much longer. Okay, so, so, okay, we got the, we got the blanket down, covering the crack, and now the next step is the sheet. So the sheet is, 
This is a, actually the best sheet that works the best is a, is a queen sized flat sheet because a, a fitted sheet doesn't fit as tight as a flat sheet. And a, you, a, queen, a king size sheet over, over a queen size bed actually works well because it gives you enough sheet to be able to tuck it underneath really well. So here we will tuck the sheet under once we get it lined up. Okay, so straighten that out, tuck the sheet under. it tight. We'll go for this corner here. You really tighten it up like tight as a drum, you know? That's why I like this kind of sheet. Okay, so, so there, there we have your basic queen size futon. Get all the wrinkles out if there are any from this blanket underneath. And so there we have the basic minimal uh, pad underneath a sheet that now we have just made the bed for the k wool, organic k wool futon. And the crack is now officially gone. So, and you can also customize, like if, if you want to uh, create, you know, some people like to customize their surface and they might need a little more padding or something. So you can also customize it by using a mattress topper or, or something like that. So next thing I'll do is I'll take this apart and say, for instance, you wanted a, a topper. So instead of this blanket, which is the most minimal pad, you could um, use something like this, which is an organic wool queen size mattress topper. And goes right here. So this ad adds an extra layer of protection. For, I mean, not protection, but a little, an extra layer even makes the crack even more disappear. If you, if you want this kind of a surface, different people like different, different surfaces, so this is a nice option for some people. And then put the sheet on and ready to go. Okay, there you have the, the organic k pock wool futon from Carolina Morning Designs. Sweet dreams.